America's favorite superhero, Captain America, is known for his supreme strength, speed, leadership, and his awesome shield. But before he was Captain America, he was Steve Rogers, a skinny young man with a lot of heart. But after being injected with the super soldier serum, he became that beefed up captain with nearly superhuman physical capabilities. So what was in the serum, and could this be done in reality? Most of you have probably seen one of these images where a dog, cow, or mouse appears to have much more muscle than normal. Well, this is not because they're hitting the gym 24-7. It's because they lack a gene that codes for the protein myostatin. What myostatin does is it inhibits muscle growth by activating receptors that block protein from becoming mature muscle fibers. Even though there is no current drug that can stop the production of myostatin in humans, there have been mutations in humans such as Ronnie Coleman that decrease the myostatin production. So if Captain America were to have been injected with super soldier serum, it would likely be composed of chemicals that block myostatin, which give Captain America his big muscles. But Captain America didn't only have a serum that made him become a superhero, he also had a pretty damn cool shield. In the movie Captain America the First Avenger, Howard Stark mentions that the shield is composed of vibranium and is about 2.5 feet in diameter and weighs about 12 pounds. It is also supposed to absorb all kinetic vibrations, be resistant to bullets, and be unaffected by extreme temperatures and magic. While there is no such thing as this super material of vibranium, we do have comparable super alloys such as inconal, which can withstand high temperatures while maintaining its stability. And recently, the strongest known material has been discovered, and its name is carbine. While many of its current properties are unknown, we do know that its maximum stress strength is roughly three times greater than that of diamond and it could have bullet stopping qualities to it. I just know that at the end of the day, whether Captain America's shield is made out of vibranium or carbine, he will always be able to kick the crap out of the Winter Soldier. Thanks for watching The Element, and don't forget to use that super strength to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Man, it'd be really cool to have the shield.